I'm actually working on this uh, on this dishwasher. I want to get it hardwired. Um, it has a cord right now. Um, this one I will show you right now. It is actually a, um, it's actually a Bosch um, silent truck dishwasher. Let me show you that right now. It's a Bosch. And it's actually a Silence Plus 46 dBA dishwasher. Um, my uh, dishwasher initially, I've been using it hard, um, not hardwired, but with this little plug that you can see here. Um, I've been using it with this plug. This is a little box, uh, the box that you see here. This is the box where the wire goes into. Um, they had some, I was looking online and they were saying that it's not possible to hardwire this, but I think it is possible because I was able to pull this out and notice these three wires, uh, neutral, hot wire and the ground. Um, so what I did initially was to uh, basically, the first thing you have to do is to put the whole a dishwasher off to its side. Make sure you empty the dishes, uh, there's no water in it. And then you have to pull this panel off. So to pull this panel off, I actually put a screwdriver in here, a Phillips head, up here and down here. There's two, and then was able to unscrew it and pull this off. So with that being pulled off, you can actually see where the cord goes into this junction box. Now there's another screw I need to remove, which is basically, uh, there's one down here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. That's the screw I have to remove to pull this off. So I'm actually going to do that right now. It's actually come off and you can see on the inside, you can see the hot wire here connected to a screw, the neutral wire connected to a screw and the ground connected to a screw. It's not, uh, I don't think there's enough lighting to see clearly, but there are three wires actually there connected to screws. This is in my little uh, behind my dishwasher space. I'm going to attach that little cord that you see in the distance there um, that I'm pointing to. That's what I'm going to hardwire into into the dishwasher. My only concern there is does it have enough length. What I'm probably going to have to do is disconnect it from the outlet inside under the sink and then uh, mount the dishwasher upright, push it back in and make sure I pull the wire out and then attach it while it's upright. Um, to the junction box and then I will go uh, before that I would have to disconnect this one of the things you have to see you'll notice on this dishwasher there's a schematic actually attached here I'm going to pull that out um, and look at it and see um, what exactly if there's anything in the schematic that would show you what type of wire needs to go into the junction box oh. I got the wire um, outlet disconnected. I'm actually going to pull the wire from uh, from under the sink. I'm going to actually pull it out. And you can actually see there's the ground wire is actually longer. Um, the issue is going to be that this cord is probably not as long as I would like it to be. There's a little um, attachment there on the wall. I'm going to pull out, try to pull out, so I get a little more room here. Um, that's right there. This is what I actually pulled out. So I get a little bit of slack. I think I have enough uh, here to make the connection, but uh, I'm going to have to put the dishwasher back in and then uh, make sure the wiring is right underneath it coming to the junction box. So the junction box so I, I would have to wire this such that it's coming through this gap here um, on probably the on the right side after it's upright and coming through this and then I'll show you how to make the attachment. So I'm going to actually lift up the uh, lift up the dishwasher, upright it. Make sure it's centered in the opening, um, and then I have to find the find the cord. So I need to make sure the cord 
actually comes through this little gap here as I push it in. See the cord here? So it has to come in through this gap. There's a gap here, a little channel. I need to make sure that it's going through that channel. And then uh, the tough part is going to be actually feeding it through that little hole from the back. I may have to lift it up as I push it in. So I'm going to try and figure this out off camera and then I'll come back. Explain what I'm going to do uh, because I can't... I put a little piece, piece of fish tape through the, um, through the connector hole because once this is upright I can't really reach and pull, the, uh, pull this cord right through. So I'm going to connect this to the fish tape uh, reel which is going through this channel. And this is actually the fish tape reel. It's about uh, 50 feet. I don't need that much, but uh, once I make this upright and push it into that little opening, I'll connect the wire on to this, the other end, and just pull it through. To repeat what I showed before, I have three, the fish hook here with three wires looped inside the fish hook. So when I pull them through the opening, there shouldn't be any issues. You want to try and keep the rest of the wires as straight as possible. I have a little hook on the end of the ground wire, which I'm going to fix. I need to straighten that out just in case it gets caught somewhere. So I'm going to kind of straighten that out. If you need to cut it, you can do that too. Um, and I'm only going to strip the wires, the hot and neutral wires, after it gets through the opening. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, I want to make sure I can pull it through the opening. Just make sure that the fish hook is on the channel, in that channel I showed you. And as I push it in, also make sure that the water hoses and the drain hoses are not kinked. Uh, they're kind of cleared. I'm push this in slowly. At the same time, I want to be pulling on this. Make sure this is not getting caught anywhere. Right now I think it is. Oh, there it is. It's actually getting stuck in the back here. I want to make sure it goes through the channel. Pull it. Okay, it seems to be coming through. Okay. I'm going to see through that opening now. Um, there's some kind of foil tape that it picked up. I'm going to try and pull it. Okay, now I have to get this. Okay, pull this ground connector through. I want to get this locked in. Okay, there we go. There we go, it's locked in. Good. Now, the next step is to actually connect these three wires, but to do that to three, these three terminals. So I'm going to have to kind of do it lying down is the uh, dishwasher is actually um, straight up. It's easier to do it if it was actually um, on its side, it would be much easier. It's kind of harder to do it this way, but I don't think I have a choice. The only other choice I would have had was to run a new line to the basement, which would be a lot more work than I want to handle it this time. Things we're gonna do before we get this connected up is to actually cut the uh, ground wire which is kind of kind of long right now try to make it the same size as the other wires Let's straighten it out as best as possible I'm gonna cut it right there and you need one of these um, this is what you can get in any hardware store it's to actually strip wires cut wires um, it's called a wire stripper so you want to cut cut it about the same length um, as much as possible. Okay, now I cut that piece off. Uh, next thing you want, you want to do is you want to strip the wires. Um, and it's pretty easy to do that. Uh, just, just strip a little bit of wire. I would say probably half an inch. Uh, maybe. And to do that you kind of kind of put that the this little thing has different size holes in it 
you put it in the one that fits the wire the best and then you clamp down on it um, clamp down on it and then you twist it and if you cut it all the way around you should be able to pull it off real easy that's what I'm trying to do yep there we go now that's stripped and you try to do the same thing for the next one uh, that's a neutral wire you try to do the same thing for the for the hot wire too and I think on this one here I'm actually picking the 14 gauge 14 size to actually cut the wire or strip the wire I should say it's to actually stick this um, actually go ahead and stick the wires into the terminals um, I have a little bit of extra wire here it's kind of hard doing this when you're lying down but so I'm gonna have to try and bend these wires so they fit in this little metal box I have a little bit of extra wire I'm trying to keep so I have slack in these wires as I assemble them so the way um, so the way these go is they just kind of you push it up in here and then you have to tighten them I might have to loosen this up a little more that is a neutral wire this is this dishwasher is made by Bosch for some reason they call the hot wire L I don't know what L stands for but in Europe it must have the hot the hot designation but it's called L in this case so I did push it in right there and now I would tighten it again um, before you close the wire box cover the steel box cover make sure it's nice and snug and tight and you can see um, the wire the insulation anything below that screw still has insulation on it which is a good thing I'm gonna have to twist this neutral wire the same way and make it fit again because I'm actually lying down on the floor it makes this whole thing a little bit harder to do um, so you push that right in there okay I gotta loosen that some more Now the neutral wire, again I have to bend this to make it fit because I have some extra slack in here. Uh, you want to make sure that it's going all the way inside. And this goes up the other way, again up into that little slot. And then I'm going to tighten it down. Make sure the neutral wire is tightened down good so now you know that with the neutral wire being in there nice and tight um, if ever uh, any wire touched any metal part on this you know it's grounded the electricity will go to the ground and trip this fuse and basically save save someone from being electrocuted if it ever came to that but this is just a safety feature 99% of the time um, if everything go is installed right you never ever see an issue so once we get it all tightened up and done the next thing I have to do is to put this little cover back on and the cover back goes, goes on like this uh, it fits right here let me just make sure it's it's, uh, it's it's actually for protection reasons and before I do anything else once I get this on uh, I'm gonna have to turn this on and make sure it works but to do that I'm gonna have to go to the basement turn on the breaker we are at the uh, uh, junction box I have the dishwasher breaker here I'm gonna turn that back on We'll go back upstairs and see um, if that's going to work. 
now I'm going to show you if this is going to work. I'm going to turn the on button here. There we go. It's actually showing a display. And the next time you run it, we'll have to see how this runs. Hopefully no issues. Now, I have to tell you, tell everyone this. Anytime I did have the outlet right under the sink, you never want to do that. If ever you have an electrician suggest this, or you have a power cord on your um, dishwasher, you want to make sure that it's the outlet never gets mounted under the sink. I would not recommend it. Um, if something happens, if water gets into the outlet or you know you have a spark, uh, you could basically start a fire um, because you can't really see the outlet or what's going on there. And the dishwasher really pulls a lot of amperage. Um, I'm assuming this is a 15 amp uh, dishwasher doesn't say that here but um, I'm pretty sure it pulls a lot of current and um, I have a 20 amp um, circuit feeding this dishwasher it might even be 20 amps um, so that's I have a dedicated breaker for this one dishwasher 